What's going on guys? Me David here back for another shave and today I'm going to use an oldie, probably not so goodie. So, let me give you a little bit of uh, information if you haven't been paying attention over the years. I really, really hate the most popular of popular mass produced uh, creams like uh, Taylor of Bond Street. I, they're easy to use, yes, but I'm not fucking dumb so I know how to use everything else. But they're just, they feel very shitty on my face for, for my use. Uh, they're very drying. I feel like my skin is tight afterwards. It's just kind of a gross feeling. But I was looking at some of the stuff that I was digging up inside uh, my cupboard here. Some of the stuff that I discovered when I moved is I have this tub of G GOF Trumpers. Almond shaving cream. No, you know, I love this type of scent. That marzipan type scent. It is really nice. Brand new. Okay, it's a brand new tub. I don't know how long I've had it for. I don't remember purchasing this. I don't know, remember when I got it. This could be close to 10 years old. I have no idea. So, this is going to be the first time I've ever used Trumpers. I'm not a big old fan of DR Harris. I'm not a big fan of uh, Tobs. Actually, I hate Tobs. The DR Harris hard pucks were a little difficult to use, but... All in all, not a bad situation in terms of performance, the face feel, all that stuff. It was it was okay, um, not as bad as I as I feel about the fucking the the Tobbs cream. This is probably gonna be a similar result, but I have it. It's new. Why the hell not? I, I don't like the post shave one one damn uh, shave. I'm not gonna die. So I got my turning by tans brush right there set, set up. And I'm just going to go ahead and load it straight from the tub. I know you're not really supposed to do this. Uh, I discovered that doing this, probably introducing this outside water, uh, actually makes these creams start to harden up uh, after use, which is funny because usually the introduction of water, you're going to get a more like sloppy, looser product. I've noticed that after I've to tub loaded uh, some cream, that it actually ends up making the leftover product Harden up pretty interesting, making it more into like that croak type of consistency, which, I don't know, it's not bad. I, I do prefer to load from the tub anyway, so it actually makes it more suitable for that. So we'll, we'll see how this one goes. Again, never have used ta uh, GOF Trumpers, or if I have, I can't remember. I, I really can't. You probably could use the search feature on my page to see if I have used it. But yeah, if I have used it, I can't remember it. I've probably blocked out the painful memory. And uh, I just, you know, you know. Oh, shit. Okay, I way overloaded, obviously. I'm not very uh, used to creams. I've used many creams in my shaving career. But definitely not something that I do regularly anymore. Early on, I, fe I fell into that rabbit hole, of course, like the Tobbs and the... And the Perazzo. Perazzo, I actually think, is a pretty good shave cream in comparison to something like Tobbs. Tobbs has the better sense. So I'm not going to deny that. Even though I do enjoy the Perazzo sense. But, damn, yeah, I'm making a fucking mess. That's what I get for, uh... I'm gonna put a little bit of water in my sink here. Just a little bit for dipping my brush. I still have a sample pressed into my bowl. And I haven't finished that. I probably still got another fucking two, three shades out of that shit. Who knows how long that'll be until they get that done. All right, so. I'm not very particular on who cuts my hair. I have a pretty basic traditional haircut that any barber that's worth a shit at all should be able to cut, do my cut. It's a very simple mid fade, shave down at the bottom, fade it up, a little bit of trim on the top. And even before, look at this fucking mess I made. God damn it. Oh well. Um, and even. Before I was growing my hair long, it was just a two on top, uh, making it even easier of a haircut. So if you can't um, cut my hair, you're just a sorry ass barber. 
But one thing that I am a little bit particular about is the fade. Um, I like a nice smooth. It doesn't have to be. There's some guys that are elite level on that fade. The the fade. It looks just super blurry and nice. No lines left behind. That's great. Um, but you're talking about some guys that are charging ridiculous, absurd amount of money. I'm not going to pay $150 for a fucking haircut. That's just not going to happen. Especially, I could do it on my own. I just don't want to spend an hour and a half doing it. Uh, when I have cut my hair in the past, it takes an hour and a half. My arms start fucking falling asleep because I'm fucking like this. And in the back, it's just a whole disaster. It's, it's a whole thing. But one thing... I don't like a lot of the fades that I've seen over at the school that I work at. The kid is just, and never mind the haircut. Again, I, I can differentiate between that stupid Edgar haircut. If you don't know what an Edgar haircut, which is a possibility because I do have people uh, that are in Europe or other parts of the country where it might not be popular, look up the Edgar haircut. It is fucking stupid. It's essentially a bowl cut with some, some parts faded in. It is gross. But it's extremely popular amongst uh, Latino youths and young adults. And even though the haircut itself is stupid, I can still notice accents. You know, the, the fading of the accents. And I just don't like a lot of the jobs that I'm seeing that are done. By some of the barbers in the area. Well, then I remembered... A buddy of mine has a shop in a neighboring city. And I'm like, damn, I, I know it's the next city over. I wonder how close this is. Well, it turns out that his shop, I live really close to the border of said city, and the shop is two miles away. Now, I grew up around this guy. I trust him. Um. Uh, He's a couple years younger than me, but I am the same age as his sister, and I've known his sister for a very long time, I know the whole family. That's a whole thing. But I'm like, perfect. The homie owns a shop down the block. Um, I'm going to go. Right, so I just came getting a haircut. This is a guy, it's not my actual buddy, did not cut my hair because he actually had to go watch his daughter uh, do like a Christmas performance for uh, school, which is fine. And the guy did a pretty okay job. Uh, I like the job that he did on top. The, the, the trimming is good. He left the front a little bit longer to allow for my hair to go back real properly and all that stuff. The fade, though, if I had to grade the fade, you're probably looking like at a 7. So, but going forward, I'll be getting my hair cut with, with, with my buddy. And, um, you know, have him take care of me. But, again, this is a serviceable job. Now, during the shave, a lot of these mass-produced classic creams They were perfectly fine. I just always been really dissatisfied with how my face feels after the shave. So there's a real lack of enjoyment there. Cause yeah, you want to enjoy the process, and I usually still am able to enjoy the process, but the aftermath of it is just, it doesn't feel pleasant to me. Perfect. And I already kind of feel it right around here. I kind of feel that tightness in my skin. Which is, yeah, I don't like it. And again, if you're a fan of these type of, these soaps, that's fine. You can. Just, again, as a hobbyist shaver, not just somebody that's trying to get it done. 
just get the whole situation done. I want to maximize the enjoyment out of my shave. And this feeling just doesn't do it for me. If any of you remember the original Soul Sharp Limited uh, website I had, I had a buddy of mine. You could probably find these some of these photos down on the Soul Sharp Limited uh, Instagram page where I do my shave of the days. Uh, my boy Andrew, he's a fucking large, light-skinned Hispanic dude, pretty buff looking. Um, he was one of the models for the website, and so um, he's real familiar with what I do. And he was talking to me about picking up an actual personal use uh, straight razor. So I'm probably gonna set him up with something. I'm a fucking mess. I'm gonna go eat with uh, Rocio, uh, my daughter Vanessa, and the baby in a little bit. So, even though I'm messy right now, I am gonna go ahead and change and shit. So, it's not too big of a deal, but it's just, it's just kind of inconvenient. Like, look at this, it's a disaster. Like, depending on where you've grown up, you may have never gone to an actual, like, barbershop, neighborhood barbershop. Some people, particularly if you come from, like, a single-parent home, it was just your mom, she probably took you to the salon to get a haircut, man. I would encourage you, if it's not something that you do, maybe you live in a little bit nicer area, and maybe you only have, like, some of those, uh, like, Paul Mitchell-type salon-type situations, I definitely encourage you to go to a barbershop, man. It's just a nice vibe. Not every vibe is going to fit the same. The last time I went to a barbershop, again, it was a random barbershop because I'm in a new neighborhood. Even though I'm familiar with the neighborhood, I don't conduct my personal business like that here. And I went to a barbershop that was convenient because I needed it. It was right before the trip to Connecticut. And you'll get this sometimes. The vibe there... So barbershops are, are legendary for being a place where you could chop it up, talk a bunch of shit, and just, you, you know, just kind of let your hair down, so to speak. And But this place right here, the way these guys were joking around, their vibe, the the, the, the the how loud the music was, it almost felt like the place was run by teenagers. And I know who the owner is. I don't. He's not like a friend of mine, but I've, uh, I was involved in like the barber scene, I don't know, like 10 plus years ago. And so I know who he is. I've known who he is for a long time. He used to work for a guy that is a buddy of mine. So he opened up the shot that's real close to my work. And just, yeah, the music's super loud. They have to yell at each other in a, just an absurd way. And it, just, it really did just felt like kids running the shop. And that, I really didn't like that vibe. Today's haircut definitely was at a shop that I appreciate that vibe. The grown people that are relaxed. And it just it just it just feels different. So it's definitely a place that I could go back and visit and continue to conduct my business there and feel comfortable myself. And again, I appreciated the vibe there. And this is the way these guys are conducting themselves while the owner, who is my friend, isn't there. So, like, that's pretty true to form. That's, like, the worst these guys are going to behave. Um, you know, so that's, that's definitely a good sign. It's cool. Cool. 
I'm not trying to cut myself. That's why I'm trying to limit the amount of talking I do while I'm actually taking care of my neck. I have been an idiot in the past before and have made some mistakes there. Nothing serious. Everybody always thinks, especially if you're not familiar with straight razor shaving, oh, how dangerous it must be to use a straight razor. But no, I guess potentially if you're being fucking really goofy with it, but nah. The cuts I've had up to this point have been very minor. And they happen very rarely. So that's the end of the third and final pass. I'm going to rinse this off and we'll come back for the final thoughts. All right, we are back. And we're going to go ahead. It doesn't match the sand, but I was really actually just craving using this bad boy right here. Floyd Black, the original. Obviously discontinued now, but I will tell you, PAA makes a perfect uh, dupe of this. It's called Droid Black, and it is absolutely phenomenal. It is spot on, and just simply the, the aftershave is a better quality. Um, but I just, I don't know, I was in the mood to use the OG one. So, all in all, not a bad shave. I did notice that when I was using the GOF Trumpers, the lather was very drippy. Every time that I was swiping off, it's just falling kind of all over the place, which is not usually a situation that I have with some of the more modern artisan stuff, unless you just pack it on with too much water. But I did not feel that the that the lather was uh, bubbly, should have been too loose, but it was just a little bit messy. All in all, nice performance. Luckily, the edge on that razor is still fantastic, so it is definitely like no irritation, no real struggle with it. I did give myself a couple nicks right here on the neck, of course. Um, probably while I was talking over there. But very very minor it didn't i didn't even feel a burn there so there's that so that's always good uh, but all in all it's fine i do feel that tightness here in my skin but it's not horrible as times past i imagine this is probably the same damn uh formula as tobs or maybe it isn't i could be mistaken if you are somebody that is familiar with the process the processes that all these are made maybe you're more familiar with the manufacturers are they the same they perform very similar, but again, I don't feel that super nasty dryness that I do remember having regularly with Taylor of Old Bond Street. But again, my skin could be changing. I am older now. I'm still not going to go into that stuff because it's just not my thing, but it's something. So if, if that's what you like, cool. Not my thing. If you made it to this point of the video, just know how much I really do appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for sticking by me, riding with me all this time. We're going to keep it rolling. Um, it's getting close. It's getting close. In case I get too busy and I do not do another video before that. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. All that good stuff. And if you don't fucking celebrate none of that stuff, hey, I just hope life is treating you well. So, that being said, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll catch you on the next shave.